I've been training professionally for approximately 25 years. My biggest motivation for not just training but for dealing with animals is because I get to be with the animals. They are such soul-filled entities. They are so loving and their love is unconditional. They want to please you. They're pack animals. They want to belong. The purpose of personal protection training is we are helping some owners who are into the sport of Schutzen or French Ring. We are fixing the dog's bites so that the dog has a nice deep bite and it's not just biting the end or the tip because then they lose points in their sport, so to speak. Protection trained dogs are less likely to bite a kid on a street or an old lady tripping or something because they've been taught what a real threat is. He's a trained sport dog. His owner is going to be um, titling him in Schutzen and French Ring. I believe he already has a therapy dog title. So not only does this dog go and attack people, you're able to bring him to hospitals and places where he has to be very calm and just, you know, make people feel good. He's dying for me to just let him go and do it. But he's got to listen to me. So I'm imposing my control over him while he sees the bad guy, okay, the decoy, uh, getting ready with all the stuff. And he knows. I mean, he's just watching. I'm first going to tell this dog, um, Jabot, to W-A-T-C-H, okay, which basically would mean to be on guard and that something's up and that this man is not to be trusted. So, and then later I will give him the command to attack him. Pumpkin! Good boy, Jabot, that's it. Good boy. Good boy, baby, you get that guy. Oh, that's it. Ready? Out! Heel! Boost! Plot! Fly! Plot! So, as soon as I give this command, he's gonna rush yeah. up and he's gonna stop like right in front of the bad guy and he's gonna bark in his face. He can only bite once that person moves quickly. But we're going to show you such control that the decoy Tillman is actually going to move backwards very slowly. And this dog will just keep barking in his face without biting him. And that's very hard because the dogs want to do this. They love it. And then he's going to move fast and make him bite. Even if a bad guy tries to run away, to climb on top of things, uh, <laughs> If they're being chased by a Malinois, chances are they're not going to get away. But you can see how exhausted they get and everything, but they enjoy it. Now we're going to bring out a 8-year-old um, female shepherd to do some uh, personal protection work. The difference between that and the sport of Schutzen or French Ring is personal protection is real-life situations where it's basically a family person with a dog who has a dog that is trained to bite should they need it. So say I'm walking down the alley one day just taking my dog for a walk and, and some guy jumps out of the alley and wants my purse or something, I could just turn my dog on the same way I turn this one on. But they're not going into a routine of things. They're not looking for blinds like the Schutzen dog is. There's no special little rules type thing. They still do have to listen to you. The control has to be all by the owner and not the dog deciding what to do. The only time the dog can decide what to do is if I'm hurt 
by the bad guy and I'm on the ground. I wouldn't say there's too much anything hard. Um, if you start off with a good bond with the dog, and then it, and then from that point, if you develop a nice bond with the dog, it uh, it wouldn't be hard at all actually to do any type of training with them uh, or, or anything because the bond causes the dog to actually show a different respect of you and knowledge, you know, that the dog can just pick up from you and actually learn about it and have fun with it.